So basically, Peloton turbine. We have a wheel here, and on this one we have buckets. So actually, I am not drawing the detail view of this one, just a line diagram only. So this one is a nozzle, and when it impinges on the blades of turbine, the turbine blades will rotate. So when the velocity kinetic energy is impinges on this one, so only energy available this one is kinetic energy, and further this is preferred at high head and low discharge with the low specific speeds. So we'll define the parameters here. D is called as mean diameter, so U is called as blade speed. It is normally given by pi d n by 60. The velocity coming from the nozzle is due to the head available, the net head available equal to h. So ideal velocity coming out to be v i equals to under root of 2 g h, and h is equals to gross head minus friction head. But Since there is a friction occurs in the nozzle, and due to this there is a loss of energy, so actual energy coming out from the nozzle is V A, or we call it as V one equals to C V multiplied by under root of two G H. C V is the, that coefficient we take accounts for the losses in the inner losses due to friction in the nozzle, and the value of C V is approximately equals to 0.972.99. One more term we introduce is called as speed ratio, which gives the relation between U and V ideal. So we have phi is called as speed ratio. Number of people use this as KU. I will select the symbol phi is given by U upon under root of 2 GH. That is the ideal velocity ratio. And the value of phi is you can take approximately equals to 4.3, 2.47. then we have one term is called as jet ratio jet ratio is basically the diameter of jet to the mean diameter and this ratio is normally selected 11 to 14 in case of pelton turbine the blade use in the pelton turbine is a symmetrical type of blade use and the velocity is impinges at this point exactly at the center this velocity equals to v1 And is same as since it's horizontal velocity, it has a v w one component, and the velocity of flow component will be equals to zero at inlet. As the jet is approaching towards the Pelton turbine with a velocity equal to v one, in the main time the the buckets are moving with a velocity equals to u. So we have a relative velocity concept. So this this one is the mean blade velocity that equals to u. So The jet coming from this one will impinges on this one on the bucket at the speed equals to relative velocity that equal to v r one. V r one is given by v one minus u. They are acting in the same direction. And when v r one is impinges on the blade, it will be get deflected in this direction. Now, if the blades are smooth, then the relative velocity at inlet will be same as the velocity. Relative velocity at outlet. I am showing here VR two. Don't go for my actual figure. So this value is called as VR two. Relative velocity at out. Then to construct your outlet diagram, you have to first construct your U value that equal to mean blade speed. And then with the tail of this one, you join this one. So this compound will be equals to V two. That is called as absolute velocity at exit. So this V2 has two component. One is velocity of the flow in upward direction, and one is V W2. That is this component, and this component is called as V F2. So I will call this angle equals to alpha, and I will call this angle equals to beta, and this one is called as the deflection angle, which is around approximately equals to 160 degree. So this one is deflection angle. so fx we called as the rate of change of momentum of the jet along the direction of vane motion so this fx is given as the mass flow rate that is m dot multiplied by change in velocity along x direction so change in velocity along x direction so initially we have whirl velocity equals to vw1 and this velocity vw2 in opposite direction so basically is vw1 minus of Minus of v w two. 
we have taken this one is minus because it is acting on the leopard side. So, we have fx equals to m dot multiplied by vw1 plus vw2. m dot you can calculate from the z dimensions that is the product of density multiplied by pi by 4 multiplied by diameter of z multiplied by velocity v1. The work done per second by work done is basically defined as force multiplied by displacement. So, we have fx multiplied by u. So, in one second the blade will in one second the blade will move by u meters. So, we can say work done equal to fx into u. So, we have work done equation is equal to m dot into u multiplied by vw1 plus vw2. Same equation also represents the hydraulic power or the runner, runner power if you take u equals to meter per second. So, this is the equation for runner power. The input energy to the Pelton wheel is given in the form of kinetic energy of the jet that equal to half mv square. The specific speed of a Pelton turbine is given as ns equals to n into under root of power that is running power divided by head to the power 5 by 4 where n is rotor speed is p is power in kilowatts and h is the available head. Normally for single jet the specific speed of turbine is given as approximately equal to 35 is a very low value. Sometimes you have to given the rotor speed n equal to 60 times f divided by p. If you are given that a generator is connected to the shaft of the Pelton turbine, then you can calculate the rotor speed equal to 60 times p f upon small p, where f is the frequency of power generation. f is frequency of power generation is basically in India this is used as 50 hertz that is 50 cycles per second and p is equal to the number of poles of hydro generator. So, some basic question is expected on this one we have to calculate the net force or we have to calculate the work done and then you have to calculate the overall hydraulic efficiency or overall efficiency.